I get these questions all of the time. What is my zone of genius? How do I know if I'm in my zone of genius? And am I doing my zone of genius quote unquote right? And this is important because when you're living in your zone of genius, you can attract money your way much more easily because you feel very high vibe and awesome. So today in this video, you're gonna get a crash course in Gay Hendrick's book, The Big Leap, where he coined the term zone of genius. You're gonna learn what that is, how to get into it so that you can attract more money your way more quickly as a coach and up-level your money-making in your business. Hey, I'm Dr. Amanda, the Money Healer, and I'm here every week with videos for you to help you be money confident so that you can make more money in your zone of genius doing exactly what you love and have it attracted to you with joy and ease instead of stress and struggle. So today, let's talk about the zone of genius. Uh, if you haven't read this book yet, it is absolutely incredible, The Big Leap. It is an absolute must read. I'll put a link in the description below. If you have read it, put in the comments your main takeaways from it. And if you haven't read it, go get it and then comment here and let me know how it goes because this book changed my life and it changes everybody's life who reads it because it highlights that you are probably not living in your zone of genius and how to get there. So let's break this down. What is zone of genius? Zone of genius, you will know you're living in when you wake up every day inspired, you feel excited for the work that you're gonna do in the world, You your work feels like play because you're doing things that are so aligned with your inner being. It's like this idea of, I wouldn't choose to do anything else with my time because I love what I'm doing so much and it's the only thing I would ever choose to do for money. Some people say, it's, I love it so much I would do it for free. I want you to eliminate that mindset because I don't want you to be planting the idea that you need to be doing things for free. <laughs> There's always equivalent exchange. So when you're in your zone of genius, you're like, yes, yes, yes. You're pinching yourself going, I get paid for this? Like, you know, I'll come out of a coaching client meeting or a mastermind or teaching a course or even doing YouTube videos and I'm like, Pinching myself going, really? I get paid to teach people how to manifest? I get paid to teach entrepreneurs how to break through their money blocks and make more money? I love it. Zone of genius, right? So I love learning and teaching about how to step into your zone of genius, how to make more money confidently, up-level your mindset, remove those unconscious barriers. So you'll know you're in your zone of genius when you feel that way. When you wake up and you're like, yeah, 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 I'm inspired, I'm alive, I feel good, I love what I'm doing in the world. And what we want to be doing is moving more and more and more in that direction where we get to go 100% of the time living in our zone of genius. So we wake up every morning, we do exactly what we love, the money starts just magnetizing our way because that's such a high vibrational frequency. I actually call this your zone of manifestation because you're doing what you love, that increase increases your gratitude, increases your appreciation, and you're like, ah, oh, vibe and high. <laughs> and then you're a money magnet. So that's zone of genius, okay? So you'll, the, the questions you wanna ask yourself uh, to get into your zone of genius, and this is straight out of his book, he asks four questions, okay? And the first one is, what do I most love to do? I love doing it so much that I can do it for long stretches of time without getting tired or bored. So what do I most love to do? Question number two, what work do I do that doesn't seem like work? I can do it all day long without ever feeling tired or bored. Question number three, in my work, what produces the highest ratio of abundance and satisfaction to amount of time spent? So it's like that high ROI work where you're like, oh, I feel so good. It's bringing tons of satisfaction. And the fourth question to ask yourself, what is my unique ability? There's a special skill I'm gifted with. This unique ability, fully realized and put to work, can provide enormous benefits to me and any organization I serve or any business I build. Okay, so ask yourself those questions. Take the time to do this and, and tap into it. My favorite question to help you tap into your zone of genius is to ask yourself, and I want you to write this down and answer it in the comments. If I had a billion dollars, what would I do with my time? If I had a billion dollars, what would I do with my time? And the reason I don't, I don't say, what would I do with the money, is because the reason you want the billion dollars is because you want free time to do whatever you want, right? We all want more money because we want 
time freedom and we want choice freedom. So what would you do with your time if you had a billion dollars? That gives you a clue as to what your zone of genius is. And if you're already doing all the things that you would love to do, then you're like, awesome. A billion dollars doesn't make that much of a difference in my life. It just enhances and amplifies what I'm already doing. That's when you know you're 100% in your zone of genius. Okay, what's important here now, next in this book, is what he calls upper limit problems. And upper limit problems are when you have what I call competing commitments. You have your unconscious battling your conscious, and you can't break through because they're competing against each other. So 5% of you is really excited to build a successful coaching business to six or seven figures, be full time, love what you're doing, make a whole bunch of money living in your zone of genius. But then there's this 95% of you that's unconscious that has all of these upper limit problems. So you self-sabotage. And we're going to cover the four upper limit problems that he talks about because these are the things you'll know that you're not in your zone of genius when you and you can't get to your zone of genius when you keep sabotaging, sabotaging, sabotaging. So there's four zones that he talks about. There's the zone of incompetence. This is obvious. This is things you're just really not that good at. Then there's the zone of competence. This is things that you're like, okay, at. you're like, oh, I can do it. I'm not that great at it, but I'm capable. Then there's your zone of excellence. And this is where most high achievers live. They live in their zone of excellence and they're really good at doing a lot of things. I've definitely made this mistake before where I get stuck in my zone of excellence instead of in my zone of genius. And you'll know because it's stuff that you're good at, but it's not like that inspirational fire where you're like, oh, I would love to do this forever. It's more like, okay, I'm capable, like building websites for me. I'm totally capable of it. I've built a whole, all my website content and all this stuff. I'm good at it, but it's not it, like at the end of the day, often I feel drained from doing it. I don't feel more energy. And so it's better for me to delegate that away so that I can move into my zone of genius, which is after I'm done doing things in my zone of genius, I feel, I have to tell my clients, I, I'm like, I feel like I'm on crack. <laughs> like I'm so elated and excited and inspired. And that's how you want to feel. And you want to be living more and more in that place. So the issue from going from zone of excellence to zone of genius is that we run into barriers. He calls them hidden barriers. And this is unconscious limiting beliefs that were mostly implanted or downloaded when you were a little kid. And you know, this is not to beat your parents up. This isn't to beat the people up who raised you. This is for your awareness so that you can break through to the next level from this day forward. So get conscious and start to shift into living in your zone of genius. So hidden barrier number one, feeling fundamentally flawed. So this is that feeling of like, there's just something wrong with me. I don't know why, but I feel fundamentally flawed. This is gonna keep you from expanding into your full creative genius because you feel like something is fundamentally flawed. So you're gonna notice yourself sabotaging as you start to move from the zone of excellence into zone of genius. There's gonna be this pullback. I call it the invisible inner critic leash where it goes, oh crap, you're getting out of my comfort zone. I don't know how to keep you safe there. I'm gonna pull you back by sabotaging sabotaging by having you believe there's something wrong with you. You're fundamentally flawed. So that's one of them. The second one is disloyalty and abandonment. Okay. So I cannot expand to my full success because it would cause me to end up all alone, be disloyal to my roots and leave behind people from my past. So this one comes up a lot for people when they're, you know, let's say for me, I was a first gen college student and then I got my PhD and I started to like separate from my family some and it started to cause me to have that inner conflict. Like, <gasps> am I being disloyal to my native roots? Am I being disloyal to the people that I know around me who don't have college degrees? And so it's, you start to get this inner struggle that happens. And so you want to ask yourself, did I break the family's spoken and or or unspoken rules to get where I am, even though I am successful, did I fail to meet the expectations that my parents had of me? So you're going to feel guilt and fear around expanding to your fullest potential because you're afraid you're going to be alone at the top or you're going to leave people behind. And then the next one, hidden barrier number three, is believing that more success brings a bigger burden. This is a big one. And I think of this as a money block and this money block is that money causes stress. Okay, so believing that more success brings a bigger burden. So if you already felt like you were a burden as a kid somewhere for some reason, 
then if you have this one operating, every success you have feels like a bigger burden. You're worried it's going to be a bigger burden to the people around you. And so you're going to block yourself from being successful because the more success you have, the bigger burden you are. The bigger that success becomes a problem in your inner in your subconscious mind. And so you're going to sabotage yourself every time you get up to that next level of about to break through to your zone of genius, you're going to start to shift back down or maybe even lower and where you go just in the zone of comp incompetence or competence that keeps you safe. And so in order to break through these, you got to start playing with what do I believe to be true about, you know, believing that more success brings bigger burden. Definitely take my money blocks profile. This is a really great way to help you see your unconscious competing commitments and your break through your money blocks. So just go to moneyblocksprofile.com and take it. This will help you with a lot of these upper limit problems. Um, okay. Then number four, the crime about shining. This is a big one. So the crime about shining, it goes something like this. I must not expand to my full success because if I did, I would outshine blank. Your mom, your siblings, your best friend, your partner, your colleagues, your whoever's in your mind, and that would make him or her look or feel bad. Okay. And when you think you're making someone feel or look bad unconsciously, you're going to block yourself from shining to your fullest potential because that way you keep yourself playing small and you keep yourself under the radar. You don't outshine other people because here's why, and this is fascinating. If you did shine as brightly as you wanted to, people would be jealous of you and be threatened by you. So instead, what you do is you turn down your light so that other people don't feel threatened by you. Another way this shows up is that you you advance and you keep breaking through and breaking through, but you talk about how stressful it is so that other people feel bad for you and so they're not jealous of you. Instead, they're like, oh, I'm so sorry you're having such a hard time. Wow, you work so hard to build your business and you're like, you know, secretly you're like, I just want to have fun and feel good doing this. But if I complain about it and I act stressed about it, then unconsciously they'll feel they'll they won't be jealous or threatened by me. Instead, they'll just feel sorry for me. And so this keeps you stuck in this upper limit problem, these ulps, and it keeps you sabotaging your success. So that's a down a, a crash course from this book. Definitely read it. There's so much gold here and so many amazing breakthroughs. Um, so, you know, the next question that we're discussing today is, you know, how do I know if I'm living in my zone of genius and am I doing my zone of genius right? And I put that in quotes because, you know, right or wrong is a complicated discussion because I always think you're doing everything exactly as you need to be doing it to keep learning and growing. And you wouldn't be watching this video right now if you weren't ready for this information to start to break through to the next level and live in your zone of genius. So you're doing it perfectly. <laughs> And let's say this, you will know you're doing your zone of genius right. Remember when I said, you'll know you're doing it right when you're like, ah, oh, I wake up and I feel good. And your feelings are always your guide to you knowing if you're living to your fullest potential. And when you're doing that and you're living in your zone of genius, you're working from your zone of genius, you're building your business from your zone of genius, you'll feel like you're in flow and things will just come to you because you become very magnetic to money. And the law of attraction works to your benefit consciously because you allow all this awesome stuff to come your way. Amazing opportunities, amazing gifts and money and surprises and just awesome stuff because you're in this high vibrational frequency of joy and love and appreciation and gratitude. And that's the state that we want to get into for you to grow your coaching business to whatever level that you choose. Be sure to watch these other videos about law of attraction and so that you can learn more and more tips around this because when you get in this zone and you understand how to use the law of attraction to your benefit, your business building gets so much easier. Uh, every time I've read this book, I've had huge breakthroughs like crying and journaling and breakthrough and then my income will all of a sudden surge in a new direction. And so this is the kind of work I do in the world. So put in the, in the comments something about Zone of Genius for you. What is your Zone of Genius? Do you know after listening to this, what is your zone of genius? And just see if you have a clue and definitely ask me if you need help figuring it out. And then be sure to watch this next video. Uh, this is more books and quotes that will inspire you to get into your zone of genius, build a business you love and make a ton of money doing it. And 
until next time, NFA money making high fives in your zone of genius.